Now that's a big old mess someone just made. Not sure what it is, but I am not stepping in it. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Like I said yesterday, doing something a little different today. It's windy, so I hope the mic's not chopping up. But right behind me right there, the Western Edition Public Library. If you go around to the side, see a nice mural. Talks about, looks like San Francisco. Have some guys playing basketball. Has a nice one of the Golden Gate Bridge up there. They have the tree with hands coming out. It looks like holding Mother Earth. Pretty cool picture. If you look right here, it's a little bike rack. And it's shaped like a bike. It's shaped like a person on a bike. Pretty cool. Now the Western Edition Public Library, this branch was opened on June 27th, 1966. It's the 27th branch in the San Francisco Public Library system. Over here in the western part of San Francisco, the Western Edition part, they ended up closing from 2006 to 2007 for renovation. They did a whole lot of the inside, a whole lot of the outside. And back in February 2nd, 2008, they reopened with a big gala. At the time, Mayor Gavin Newsom was the mayor. And they had all these little events inside. I'm going to take you inside for a, in a minute, show you what it looks like inside. But they had this big event going on inside. They had dragons going right up down these stairs right here, going into the front door right there. But this is the outskirts of the library. Back in 1966, when it was built, it was a smaller library and they had what they, the index cards like we used to use back then and now everything is computerized. But this is how far the library goes and I still think they have one of the original signs right over here. So yes, right behind these trees you see the sign, the Western Edition Branch, San Francisco Public Library. They still do have the original. This sign is actually one of the original signs. The one I showed you earlier in the front, that sign was done after they did the renovation. But look at the library, one of the first libraries here in the Western Edition, 27th. You got Hamilton Park right over there at a distance, Hamilton pool and gymnasium so you could usually have an outing at the public library and then head over to the park go for a swim so you got the back part of the library right here all this part was renovated the library didn't used to go this far and then right over here you have a little outdoor garden think area no smoking of course it's a public library no smoking Go out here and read the book if you want to. Go ahead and relax. But this area right here, this is all renovated because this was nothing back then. This library brings it back a lot of memories because during the summertime, I used to come over here and check out a book or even just read a book if I didn't have my library card or if I lost my library card. So I would go to this library, not that far from where I live. I would come here, spend a lot of days, a lot of times, in the library reading my favorite book was this astronomy book called stars i tried looking it up they don't have it anymore but back then stars was this constellation book it showed you everything from the constellations the planets everything you want to know and this western edition library helped me go into or wanted to go into astronomy i never did because it's kind of boring after a while whole area here, this is the parking lot. Back then, before the reconstructions in 2006, this parking lot was here, but it didn't extend. You see that part right there where it extends out. It didn't really extend that far out. This whole area right here was parking. 
but then what they did was they filled it in with gravel they it's supposed to be grass but it's dry grass and they decided to shorten the parking lot and not making it making it as long as it used to be all right you got the front entrance of the library over here not sure if this book return drop was original i believe the front door of the library used to be right there where the book drop is the front entrance used to be right there they moved it to over here now but it used to be right here it used to go in this way and i believe the book drop was over where this door is so they did a pretty good renovation let's see if we can go inside all right so i am not allowed to film inside which i totally understand i totally get i tried to get a little clip just to show you what it was inside but they did a lot of renovations inside a lot of things are different a lot of things are the same Again, everything is more computerized now, not like before where they had the old index cards where, you know what I'm talking about, everyone who went to a library, even a school library had index cards, but they don't anymore. But yes, library, the Western Edition Library, built in 1966 to help the kids, the community, this part of town, have a local spot to read books for free. You had to get a library card to read for free. But this is the old Western Edition Library. 1966, renovated in 2008. Cost 4.3 million to renovate the library to what it is now. And when I say renovate, they updated some interior, some exterior. They made everything Wi-Fi friendly because back then Wi-Fi, or even now Wi-Fi is what we use. So they updated to where it's Wi-Fi. You can use it for Wi-Fi. But yes, Western Edition Library. I'm going to leave pictures of how it used to look back in the days. And I'm going to try to side-by-side -side them with other pictures. This is one picture. I'm right across the street on Scott Street looking at how it used to be. Or how it is now. And I do have a picture of how it used to be right around this angle as well. So one of my old pictures that I have, I have them construction, construction how the library used to look. And you used to be able to see past the library to the other side of Post Street. Now you can't even see the other side because of where the trees have grown and the library sits. But this is one of the pictures. So this is a view from across the street you see the library right there. And like I said, you got Hamilton Park, pool, all in one area. So you can go read a book, go swimming, play some basketball. All right guys, that's it for my Western Edition library. This is one of the spots that I wanted to hit because to me, this is iconic. This has been here for a while. Right there, the Western Edition library. Like I said, when they closed it down back in 2006, a lot of people in the air was like, where are we gonna go now? The closest library is either downtown by City Hall or up there in the avenues. So a lot of people were kind of like upset. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go read? But then, like I said, it was renovation. It was only closed for, for I think a year, maybe two, but they closed it to make it better. It is better. My kids go there to check out books and now you can check out DVDs as well. So you can check out DVDs, you can check out books and you can get on the computer. So it's a cool place. San Francisco Public Library is a really cool spot to have and I'm glad we have one near where we are. But right there, the Western Edition Library. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Trying something new. I'm not trying to do a different, not trying to do a rant or rave, I'm trying to do something different. But thanks for watching guys. Vlog is ended. Go in peace.